Hello, good morning. It's Amanda with Tap Mama and the Bag Brigade. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. I guess I really need this this morning. We've not had power since 1 a.m. Good thing I'm only less than a mile from a cell tower, so it makes it a little easier to upload. <laughs> anyway, uh, in case you're new, uh, our devotional start with a Bible verse and then an inspirational story ending on a faith, st faith step. So, uh, hope you like this. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching these, give us a subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when I release one of these. Uh, and here we go. Going into the temple, he began to throw out everyone who had set up shop, selling everything and anything. He said, it's written in scripture. My house is a house of prayer. You have turned it into a religious bazaar. Luke 19, 45 through 46. When my beloved grandma died, I helped mom clean out my grandma's house. It took over a week to get rid of 76 years of junk, excuse me, treasures. That first day, mom told me to set aside every, anything I wanted. I said, all I care about are some of her paintings. Grandma was a self-taught artist. Her, her breathtaking old paintings of mount, mountain scenes and still life flowers helped me feel close to her, as if she wasn't really gone. But as the week progressed, my heart filled with greed. Every time I walked into a room, another item would catch my eye. By the time I left for my home, my car was filled with stuff, most of which I later gave away. On the Monday after Palm Sunday, Jesus demonstrated what God thinks of greed. Merchants who were selling animals for sacrifices and exchanging foreign currency in the temple were making a mockery of God's house. In a moment of justified anger, Jesus drove out the money changers and all their animals. He cleansed his father's house, reminding them of the temple's original purpose to meet with God. Whenever I'm tempted to want more than I need, I remember that ugly feeling of greed I experienced while cleaning grandma's house. I remind myself of God's house. My heart is meant for fellowship with him, Jeanette Lavelli. Faith step, ask Jesus to show you if your heart needs cleansing of any type of greed. Imagine yourself with Jesus beside you, driving out the greed and dedicating your heart, God's house, as a place of prayer. Well now, hmm, I'm gonna have to really think about that one if I've been greedy. Well, I'm not gonna talk on that too much right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you have prayer, prayer requests, then please leave them in the comment box. I'll be happy to pray for you. Um, continue to pray for Will. His, I got to look at the, at the cut on his foot today when I doctored it for him. And it's, 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 a, it's a significant cut. Um, the stitches are, there's at least six or seven stitches there. And that's just the ones you can see. And he's a big baby, of course. At, at 29 years old, he's a big baby. But, uh, <laughs> man child. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and if you haven't already. Uh, I have other content besides this that you might enjoy as well. Uh, I will continue to pray for anyone that's watching that might need prayer. Uh, any unspoken prayers, I don't mind, you know, doing that. Of course, my email is available. Uh, I'll leave that in the description box if you want to email me directly and ask for prayer uh, privately. That's that's always available to you. And uh, as always, uh, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.